2020 is here. Spring sports almost here and men's volleyball has arrived. Hello everyone, Brian Staten as we welcome you into the Pioneer Weekly Recap and Preview Show. The Pioneers open up first with indoor track and field. As the indoor track and field season is upon us, the outside track and field season will be upon us even sooner than you may think. Let's go to some of the highlights here. Tusculum University men's and women's indoor track and field teams opened up at the ETSU Invitational at the Memorial Center, where Hishlane Pettit set a school record for the Pioneers in the women's 800 meters. Carson Walls had a sixth place finish for the men 5,000 meters to lead Tusculum in the first of six meets this winter. Tusculum returns to action January 17th and 18th at the Gamecock opener hosted by the University of South Carolina. But congratulations to so many of our men's, women's indoor track and field teams that participated at the ETSU Track and Field Invitational. So many, so many names from last year. Yolanda Boyce, Earthasia Watkins, Aaliyah Adderley, Kelsey Griffin. On the men's side, Carson Walls, Kyle Hodges, Taylor Tufts, uh, Kyle Stanley, so many of those who participated last year for this uh, men's and women's uh, indoor track and field team participating at ETSU. Full story is up through TuskelumPioneers.com to find out how they were also able to uh, compete. And the Pioneers again return to action January 17th and 18th uh, in the Gamecock opener hosted by the University of South Carolina. And the uh, competition level for the Pioneers at Division I levels and Division I meets uh, is going to be staggering. This past week, the Pioneer basketball teams were also in play as uh, they went on the road to Mars Hill. The men and women earned split in each game. The women won 2-0, and oh, and the Pioneers went 0-2 oh, for the week. It's a frustrating loss for the men against Mars Hill at the buzzer and on the road against Coker, scoring just 14-point second halves. Uh, in that contest. You can check out the latest in men's and women's basketball by visiting this website, TuskelumPioneers.com, and you can watch the coaches shows for Pioneer Coach Devin Carter along with Pioneer Coach JT Burton. Meanwhile, for the men's volleyball team, how about this? This is a Pioneer team that we've kind of been anticipating ready to be here. It was uh, a, a thrilling first game at, at Pioneer Arena against King, although the men did fall 3-0, but the Pioneers pick up a bunch of firsts. When you take, talk about the program, the first time it was announced was a first. The first time we hired a coach was a first. The first time they practiced was a first. The first time they picked out their uniforms, a first. The first serve, the first set, the first pass, the first, you get where I'm going with this. The Pioneers picked up their first win this year as well as the Pioneers would sweep uh, in their first game against Urbana in a tri-match, Tusculum and uh, the Urbana side along with Mount Olive. The black and orange went one and two for the week for the program's first ever week with the sweep over Urbana Saturday. They dropped their matches against King and Mount Olive. Matteo Maselli led the offensive charge for the Pioneers. 30 kills, 3.3 per set on a 317 hitting percentage. He also collected a team high six service aces as well. So the Pioneers will be squaring off against Lincoln Memorial. That will be Tuesday. Then they take the trek to Ohio State for Thursday matches as well. North Greenville will also have been on a break for nearly two weeks when the Pioneers actually go to town. It's a Pioneer team that has opened up with their first four at home, but they will end up uh, on the road quite often. Uh, they'll have just eight home matches this year. So if you haven't had a chance to see Eddie Pennington's men's volleyball team just yet, I encourage you to stop by and uh, visit Pioneer Arena. Check the schedule for when they'll be home next. I believe it'll be the 25th the next time they'll be at home um, after this week. So make sure you stop by and uh, visit with them and visit. A outstanding, exciting, and uh, a lot of excitement there. And obviously thrilled to have the uh, Pioneers pick up their very first win of the campaign as well this past week against Urbana. With that said, we move on to our Zaxby's Athletes of the Week, and it also brings up one of our top volleyball players as well. The Tusculum University men's volleyball outside hitter Matteo Maselli and basketball guard Mia Long have been named to the Zaxby's Athletes of the Week. Long honors her second Athlete of the Year honor this year. Maselli's a freshman outside hitter from Italy. He led the Pioneers offensively in the program's first win. In Saturday's 3-0 victory against Urbana, he accounted for a game-high 13 kills, hit 50%, three assists, two service aces, three total blocks, and a team-high six digs in the Pioneers' blanking of the Blue Knights. He also amassed 11 kills, four aces, two digs in Wednesday's first match against King, and on the week averaging 3.3 kills and owns a 317 hitting percentage. Meanwhile, Mia Long averaged 17.5 points a game this past week, shot 70% from the field as the Pioneers get the big win against Mars Hill, and then hold on to get the win against Coke. She was 8 of 9 from the field, scored 17 points in her 17 minutes against Mars Hill, 6 of 11 from the field, 18 points.
points along with seven assists against Coker. She averaged three rebounds, five assists, and three and a half steals for the week and shot 14 of 20 for the two wins in the game. She's second on the team and 10th in the league in scoring at 14.1 points a game and shooting a team best 53% from the field, ranked fourth, ranks fourth in the conference. She also leads the conference and ranks in the top 10 nationally in steals per game at 3.6 per contest and has scored double figures 10 of 14 games this year for the Pioneers who are 11 and three on the year and six and two in the South Atlantic Conference. And Mia Long closing in on pretty impressive stat too, just scoring at 1,000 points in her career in just three seasons here at Tushkin. She'll just under 200, I believe now it's 170 points is what she's gonna have to score to get 1,000 points for her career, which means she'd have to average just over 12 points per game for that to happen through the rest of the season. And I think she can do it. Obviously, it's been a great score. But as you, if you have heard Devin Carter talk about anything, in order to earn your way onto the lineup, it's not about your offense. It's about your defense and doing that, averaging 3.6 steals per contest for this Pioneer team. Adding the dimension of the outside shot as well. Hit two three-pointers, ending an 0-for-17 streak that she had had uh, through the season this past week on the road at Coker. Congratulations to the two Zaxby's Athletes of the Week, Maselli and long. That'll do it this week. Don't forget, check the latest website for all the latest news, stories, upcoming schedules as well for our spring sports heading to the end of the year. We're still anticipating a great alumni basketball weekend on February 8th, and Doug Jones, his number will be honored as it will be retired by the baseball team in a great baseball alumni weekend, which will be February 21st, 22nd as they host Catawba. So go to the website, TuscalumPioneers.com, and get signed up for those two great weekends. Any basketball alumni, including coaches, any baseball alumni, including coaches as well, invited to attend for that, those two great weekends. For everyone on Behind the Scenes at the Pioneer Sports Network, I'm Brian Staten. Until next week, go Pioneers.